Hey, this is the first of two final videos where we'll take a look at the rest of the items in Sekiro. I tried to group them somehow, so today we'll talk about Mibu and Fountainhead related items, including everything to do with the Great Colored Carp, and also a couple more items that have a little bit of lore in the descriptions. In the next video we'll cover miscellaneous items like Ceramic Shard and Fistful of Ash, and also all sake items and all sake dialogues. Please excuse my voice, I got terribly sick and I'm still recovering. I probably sound like Harunaga in his pod, which is kind of fitting because we'll talk a lot about him and Koremori today. As usual, we'll quickly go over the disclaimers, legend and sources. If it's not the first time around, feel free to skip ahead. Number one, use common sense. Please do not assume that I have access to some secret true knowledge. I'm just entertained by reading Sekiro in Japanese. My lore theories are just theories, so treat them accordingly. Number two, I am not a professional translator, I have never worked on localization. Yes, I will say that something is translated poorly and something is not, and it will be my personal point of view. Ultimately, my goal is to give you the information so you can see if the localization was good or not, whether something important was lost or not. My opinion is just that, and I choose to share it. Number three, I am not an expert on Buddhism or Shintoism. I will leave links to the religious terms that we will encounter so you can read more on your own if you're interested. As usual, the transcriptions I give do not follow all academic rules and I don't think it's necessary. They're just here to represent the pronunciation in case you're curious. All sources I used for this research will be listed in the description box below along with all the additional information that I referenced throughout the video so you can read more if you're interested. There you will also find a link to my original blog post if you want to read the through. There are five types of Mibu Balloons in the game, and as I mentioned in one of the previous videos where we discussed Mibu Balloon of Spirit, four of them have the same naming pattern, Mibu Balloon of Collecting X. People are often confused by how Mibu Balloon part is written, why Mibu is written in Katakana and not in Kanji. There are even doubts whether or not Mibu in the balloon's name is the same Mibu as in the name of the village. Yes, it is the same, the descriptions of Mibu Balloons of Wealth and Possession say so, as to why it is written in katakana and not in kanji, there might be a few reasons to it. Might be a stylistic choice, katakana is often used for emphasis. But I personally think that it was done just for the sake of better parsing. It's just easier to read and understand it as it is written in the game than when it is written in kanji. Another reason, also very possible, is that Mibu is not a typical reading of these kanji, not at all. They are read suisei, aquatic life. And if it wasn't for Katakana and the description of the Mibu Balloon of Wealth, we wouldn't really know how to read this in the context of Sekiro. Its original name is Zenyo Sen no Mibu Fusen, Mibu Balloon of Collecting Sen, or Money. Interesting that each balloon has an alternative name in their description. This one is Mibu Balloon Containing a Prayer for Inviting Wealth. The part about these balloons hiding the water of the fountainhead inside is identical across all Mibu Balloons. The second paragraph was localized accurately. Let's look at the last one. Mibu is aquatic life. It indicates things born from water. Worthy of worship is not quite accurate. The original says object of pilgrimage, and we'll read more about this pilgrimage later on in other items. When you pop this balloon, or any other Mibu balloon, the kanji you see on the screen are Goriyaku, divine grace, blessing, or answer to a prayer. Its original name is Shina Yosen no Mibu Fusen, Mibu Balloon of Collecting Items. The description specifies that it is a Mibu Balloon containing a prayer for inviting good luck. I love that you can see butterflies inside the balloon. When you encounter items in the world, there are little golden butterflies floating above. It makes sense that the balloon that gives a higher chance of item drop would have butterflies inside. The rest of the description is identical to that of the Mibu Balloon of Wealth, save for the color of the balloon itself. Its original name is Tamashi Yosen no Mibu Fusen, Mibu Balloon of Collecting Soul. It is a Mibu Balloon for the ceremony for the repose of a departed soul. The next paragraph was localized accurately. It's very similar to all the other descriptions, only the color of the balloon and the effect itself are different. The last paragraph is unique and the localization did a great job translating it. Mibu Balloon of Soul is the original Mibu Balloon, the oldest of them all. Chief Mibu priests pop them to quell or suppress souls. This is one of the ceremonial Mibu balloons. If you remember, Mibu balloon of collecting Katashiro is also a ceremonial one. People pop it when mourning someone. 
If you pursue Black Badger's personal quest, upon death he'll give you this unique Mibu balloon. Its original name is Mibu Balloon of Dragonspring Pilgrimage. You might remember that you've heard about Dragonspring Pilgrimage from somewhere. When Wolf goes back in time to Harada Estate, the dying Nijar Shinobi tells him that it is currently the year of the Dragonspring Pilgrimage, it is likely that this Mibu Balloon also comes from that time. Mibu Balloon that is made while praying that a child grows up healthy. This item is similar to the bundled Jesus statue in a sense that both these items are made by parents while praying for the health and safety of their children. While Jesus statues, I think, are made when the child is born, the pilgrimage balloon appears to be a special item that is crafted during the year of Dragonspring pilgrimage. Some balloons increase your chances of finding something, like balloons of possession and katashiro, while others increase the amount of stuff, like balloons of wealth and soul. This balloon, as the original says, increases both the amounts and chances of gaining resources. I think increased gains of all sorts covers it. Something is written on it in crude letters. It reads, To Tenkichi, from Badger. Undoubtedly, this balloon was made by Badger, possibly three years ago, when his son was still alive. When the boy passed away, Badger held on to this balloon, and after his death, it found its way to Wolf. When you use Dragon Spring Pilgrimage Balloon, the kanji you see are still Goriaku, Divine Grace, but they change color to show you that you have received blessings of all the other balloons. Let's talk about the items that have to do with the Great Colored Carp, and generally with Fountainhead Palace. Treasure Carp scale is called exactly that, a scale of a treasure carp. So why are carps so important in Japan? Koi are colored varieties of the Yammer carp that were bred for ornamental purposes to inhabit water gardens and ponds. The oldest mention of a colored carp in Japan dates back to Nihon Shoki. Carps were bred in China more than a thousand years ago for different color combinations. Koi are cold water omnivorous fish and they are exceptionally hardy and can live up to 100 or 200 years. As we already discussed in one of the previous videos, because of the Chinese legend where a carp who jumps over the waterfall becomes a dragon, carps are considered symbols of perseverance and achieving success in the face of adversity. In Japan specifically, koi fish are also symbols of love and friendship since the word koi carp sounds like koi love. Interesting that the great colored carp, who is also a nushi, a god of the land, is apparently of a Showa variety, Showa Sanshoku, with his black body and red and white markings. Showa carps were developed in 1927, which is way too late for it to be present in Sengoku period. However, this type of koi fish is one of the most recognizable, along with Kohaku and Sanke, so probably that is why it was chosen. Back to the scales. The localized description is mostly accurate, you probably already guessed that master is nushi in the original. Probably the English localization should have introduced the term nushi after all, because I feel like a chunk of the lore was lost because they didn't. This description also introduces the vocabulary that is used constantly when Harunaga and Koremori talk about the great carp. The words totobu, to value, to prize, and another related word, totoi, precious, valuable. When they talk about the great carp, carp scales, or their future once they become carps, they constantly use these words that are also present in other descriptions concerning the carp. However, there are those who desire these scales. For those who value a certain god of the land, these scales are precious. If you wish to be rewarded, try collecting more of them. The last line points at the scales being a sort of special currency. Here we can yet again see the word totoi, because the original name of this item is totoi esa, precious bait, or precious pet food. The localization is accurate, there isn't anything special about the text apart from master again being nushi, a god of the land. The original is more straightforward in saying that nushi loves to eat things with horns, and for some weird reason it seems important to me, but I can't see in what way. Do we know if the carp ate someone with horns? Does anything in Sekiro have horns that is relevant to the carp? I don't know, it seems important, but I can't say why. When you spend enough scales and reach the palace, Harunaga will give you his truly precious bait for you to give it to the carp. Koromori says that Harunaga was banished from their clan and from the palace because he attempted to kill the carp. However, it doesn't seem that Harunaga abandoned his ambitions, even in exile. Its original name is Truly Precious Bait. The original says that if the bait has hair, it is even more precious. The localization skipped the most important line of this description, it is somewhat of an idiomatic phrase. 
They most likely lack the space to fit it, but honestly, I'd rather throw away any other line than this one. As far as I can tell, this phrase means that someone is not likely to survive a certain event. This bait is even more precious to the point that one might not survive it. The localized description doesn't really say that the carp would die if you feed this bait to him, but the original does. Pot Noble from the Harada estate wants to become a Nushi. The next paragraph is indeed direct speech. Give this to the carp god of the divine realm, therefore I shall become carp. This is pretty different from the localized version, there is nothing about the scales in the original, but an instruction what you need to do with the bait and how it will affect Harunaga. I remember being really confused when doing this quest for the first time. I didn't really expect the great carp to die after feeding him this bait, and this direct speech part was also confusing to me. The way people use the word senkyo in this game drives me nuts. I thought that there is a difference between the palace and the divine realm, that the divine realm is specifically the place where the dragon resides. However, some NPCs use these two words interchangeably, like Harunaga here. He says Nushi carp of the divine realm, but the carp lives in the palace, not in the divine realm. In the art book, Senkyo is specifically the place where the dragon dwells, and when Wolf arrives there, he says it, he's like, oh, this is the divine realm. This detail is kind of important because of Takeru and Tamoya. They couldn't reach the divine realm because they couldn't craft the aroma. Does it mean that the aroma is needed to get to the dragon, or do you need it to get to the palace too? If the former is the case, couldn't they still get to the palace? Drives me insane. One more bait. Its original name is exactly the same as Harunaga's, Makoto Totoi Asa, truly precious bait. The first two paragraphs are also identical, including the line about the bait being precious to the point one might not survive it, that the localization skipped here too. Pot Noble from the Fountainhead Palace indeed cares deeply about the carp nushi. Koromori's motivation always escaped me, to be honest. He obviously also wants to become the great carp, but while Harunaga is just obsessed with this idea of becoming a carp that never grows old, and his story is more or less clear, Koromori is another matter. He has managed to get to the other shore of the Fountainhead Pond and not be sniped by Shizu. He's perched all the way up there and is kind of just hanging out. He never expressed his motives, why he wants to become the Nushi Carp. To never grow old. The description of his bait doesn't say that he wants to become a Nushi, like the description of the Harunaga's bait does. It says that he really cares about the Nushi Carp. Weird. The next paragraph with the direct speech also differs from Harunaga's in the sense that Koremori talks more respectfully about the carp. Not only does he use the respectful suffix sama, he also uses the respectful verb kenjousuru. Maybe he does really care about the carp in his weird, twisted way. When the deed is done and the great carp is washed away to the ape's watering hole, you can pluck the whisker from him. Its original name is Nushi no Shirohige, Nushi's white beard. Can also be whisker, but I think the more accurate term will be barbel, a whisker like sensory organ near the mouth of some fish. I really wish the localization was more consistent and always localized totoi either as precious or as priceless, it would really reflect the original quite well. Otherwise, the description is quite accurate. Where the original says nushi, the localization writes the great carp, better than master. The extra bit of information we can derive from the original is that Nushi in general are immortal but can be killed. Doesn't really go against anything we've learned so far. For Heart's Desire, the original uses Daigan, Great Ambition. The last paragraph is talking about the carpet attendant and whoever you supported when giving the bait. Its original name is Carp's Red Eyeballs. The original specifies that this carp lived on the bottom of the Miba village pond. Carps with only eyes that are red have failed or missed their opportunity to become a Nushi. I think with only eyes that are red part implies that their scales should also be red to mimic the great carp. I wonder if this carp was also previously a Miba villager who tried to become the great carp but failed. The next paragraph is indented as if it is direct speech, but I'm not sure who will be saying these words. Dojun maybe? Incomplete creatures or fools lacking scales. These bodies will not be dressed in brocade, however, their red eyeballs will never rot. Hampamono means full, but literally it is incomplete creature. The phrase about the brocade was skipped by the localization, and it's quite tricky, but arguably the most expressive part of the description. These bodies will not be dyed the colors of brocade. While Nishiki does mean brocade, a type of richly decorated fabric, 
Here it most certainly refers to Nishkegoi, brocaded carp, the more formal name of colored varieties of carps. This red-eyed carp will never become the brocaded, colored carp. In the last paragraph, the original says that Dojun is a seijutsu, surgeon, not a researcher, and he needs these eyes specifically for rejuvenating water's procedure, which would be nice to see added in the English version. Mask fragments are really straightforward. This one is dancing mask or dancer's mask fragment, right side. This is a fragment of an old mask worn when dancing. It appears to be the right side of the mask. Probably in the past it was whole. The description of this fragment is identical to that of the previous one. The only thing different is that it is the left side of the mask. Its original name is Dancer's Mask Fragment, left side. Its original name is Dancer's Mask Dragon Head. The description is identical to the other two, except it specifies that it is a kazari, a decoration part of the mask. Finally, when you assemble the mask, you get a pretty impressive description, unlike previous ones. The mask's original name is Ryuno Maimen, Dancing Mask of the Dragon, a dancing mask crowned with the dragon's head. The description was localized accurately, with this item you can exchange skill points for attack power. This is the item that confirms that the Okami warriors from the Fountainhead Palace are indeed women. They would offer their dance to the dragon and it would leave them filled with power. It reminded me of the description of Sakura dance. Maybe that's the one? Let's start with the fact that it's not of the palace, its original name is Kyonomizu, and it is an archaic phrase that denotes water from the capital, or water from Kyoto, that is said to be particularly pure. What is more interesting, this type of water is rumored to have whitening effect. God's water pours into a sake cup that nobles of the palace are fond of. First of all, this is a gozunzui, water offered to a god, or water that is drunk before an altar when making a vow, or just in general miracle water connected to a god. However, what caught my attention more than this was that the nobles of the palace are fond of it, and yet we never see them drink any of it while Okami, in their idle state, do drink something from the little sake cups. I assumed it was sake, but now I think that is probably the water. Who's the nobility of the palace, anyway? The rest of the description is quite accurate. When the wedding procession arrives, this is the drink that people are greeted with. Maybe that's why both Okami and Mibu are kind of white and translucent, because of this water's whitening effect. We know that this water is responsible for the transformation of humans upon arrival. When you give this water to the Mibu priest, he is transformed into the Red Noble. Blue nobles, I think, come from the pesky blue-robed guys near the water mill that make the carp baits. That would explain Koremori and Harunaga having special baits on hand. Since this water has to do with gods, and there are two gods in the Fountainhead Palace, the dragon and the carp, do you think that the people from the wedding procession are transformed according to the god they worship? That is why the Mibo are all carp-like and Okami are dragon-like. I know it sounds weird, but I don't really have an explanation why Okami and Mibu are so different, even though both clans used to be humans and arrived at Fountainhead to pursue their gods. The last item that has to do with gods is divine confetti. Its original name is quite beautiful, kamifubuki, god's blizzard. There is a word play in the description, it uses two words that are read as kamifubuki to denote the item, kamifubuki as god's blizzard and kamifubuki as confetti, or literally paper blizzard. Honestly, the process of making this confetti is kinda hidden in its original name, but the localization chose to skip some details. Divine confetti is actually very close to divine grass, in terms of how it's made. For the same reason divine grass is called God's food, this item is called God's blizzard. The paper is made with the waters of the fountainhead, sometimes the gods too ladled onto it. Confetti inhabited by gods gives its protection to the one basked in it. As you can see, this item is paper blizzard, but also God's blizzard, because these tiny pieces of paper are inhabited by gods. Probably it is again small nameless gods that live in the fountainhead waters. Explains why there are not so many divine confetti items lying around, but still more than divine grass, the miracle cure that cannot really be made anymore. When you use divine confetti, the kanji you see is harai, purification or exorcism. And that's all for Mibu balloons, carps and gods. In the next video we'll look at miscellaneous items that we have left, fistful of ash, ceramic shards, sake and others and then we'll move on to the next part of the project. Don't forget to check the description for relevant links and more reading. 
Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.